Well, my friends, all of you who left those sailing comments, go sailing. Looks like we're going to be sailing a lot this season. This is the head sail, plus we have a screecher and a parasail. Time to get on the way. We are about to embark on our first adventure to, my friends, Malaysia. And we are off another country. Nothing like getting a boat and then leaving Thailand and going to Malaysia for a 28 hour travel. Very overcast today. As the last couple of weeks we are here, rainy season in Thailand. How many times do you think it's gonna pour on us over the strip? The answer is how many times do you think it's not gonna pour on us? It's monsoon season. Look at this a cup of coffee. Improvements on every level. Here's your first cup of coffee. <laughs> Hot. I feel like I'm not on a boat. It's bright, it's light, coffee's being served. It's gonna be quite different here. Mushrooms for breakfast. I'm also a little worried <laughs> about my cooking skills because I also have to serve breakfast to our captain, Nat. And um, I don't know what Thai people eat for breakfast. I feel like he's gonna be judging my breakfast. <laughs> This is also gas stove, which I'm not used to anymore <laughs> after our induction cook stove. A recipe for disaster. The view, my friends, the view! Hopefully I'm not going to burn the kitchen on my first cooking. <laughs> we are getting there. I just remembered I didn't salt anything. And you can see Cook is not used to a galley yet. Proper galley. She's over there using the table. We have a center countertop here. I can see this person is not used to the boat either. I haven't had my coffee yet. You better be very careful with what she's saying in the camera. Quack, 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 quack. We started to sail, put the head sail up, but the wind really isn't in our favor. It's right on our beam. We're gonna motor for a little while. Once we get out of this location, then the wind should pick up and then we'll be able to put the sheets back up. Here you go, this is life, my friends. Looks like we have an extra bumper. We can put a line around you. Now I'm gonna have next nightmare of this falling through. falling through. It's a brand new offshore net that was installed about a month ago. I think you're going to be safe for a while. So we got ourselves ready this morning, put the head sail up and we were going to leave at six. We left at seven. We were going from Phuket, Thailand to Langkawi which is about 23 hours, uh, but we're going to go halfway, find a nice place to drop an anchor. Hopefully we're gonna have a nice fresh fish that yeah. Captain Nutt is about to catch and show us how fishing is going on here. So I'd like to formally introduce you to not only our captain, but also has become a teacher and friend, because this guy knows what he's doing on these boats, and clearly we don't. And if I get in trouble, it's your boat. If it's easy, it's my boat. So how long you been sailing? Just like us. <laughs> it's okay because uh, not too many people understand how to feel the wind. It's not the winches and the power, it's how you feel, how you touch. But this is our first catamaran. We said never a catamaran, only a steel boat because we love steel and hard. But steel catamaran is not possible. <laughs> Aluminum. Yeah, and we researched these. They were very strong for crossing ocean. They're built like uh, really rugged. Uh, and the breakaway keels is important. 
Well, hopefully we're not going to test those today. <laughs> oh no! The jackets! Our reindeer almost go overboard. We're pretty lucky today because it's no rain, but it's pretty sporty today. I'm comparing this boat with Dawn Hunter 1. We would have been rolling all over the place. This is a 28-foot beam and we're rolling. So imagine being in a mono hull. Now I'm kind of happy I'm on this boat. And then I get up here and it's so smooth that I don't know why I recorded the back. <laughs> this is pretty nice up here. We're doing about nine knots. We were doing around six, but with the head sail up, jumped up to around nine. Are we motor sailing though? The motor's on because we don't have enough wind to just sail and make it to our destination tonight. So we're doing a combination. Can it actually uh, knock me over? No, it's not gonna go the other way. Putting sail back up, now we really need it to make it to our anchorage. I don't know if you guys can see, but our anchorage is right there where those rocks are. Ooh, nice! Don't ask me what this is because I don't know. It's a Thai pasta. <laughs> Looks damn good to me. Looks like Yana pasta. It's because pasta. you're hungry. <laughs> I think Yana's found her perfect kitchen utensil. Throw everything in the wok, stir fry it all up. One bowl, one pan. It's easy, and I like easy. Something is clunking right now, so we might have uh, picked up something. Yeah, we got something caught. Yeah, watch once in a while, the motor's gonna jump. Like we've got something on our prop. They're trying to put it in neutral and then reverse to see if whatever we picked up goes out. Otherwise, somebody might have to dive and free the motor. There are a lot of uh, fishermen that are fishing with their lobster traps and they have uh, crab traps and all kinds of line is also floating around. And so the sail drives uh, catch all that stuff and then Things happen. Now we're putting the sail away and I guess we'll have to figure it out. It was just one hour before our anchorage for tonight. Never goes as planned. I could even hear a click sometimes, like there's something hitting. Well, it seems like we may have picked up a rope, a line or a net. Suddenly we start hearing a vibration and a clunking. And sadly enough, the only way to find out what it is is to put your face down there or jump in. You're lucky today, William. <laughs> that would be you. <laughs> Line? So we go with one engine if you want until mooring ball. Yeah, we actually uh, went in the water one day later because we were hoping that they will be able to install the special rope and line cutters for the sail drives, but they didn't have parts and we decided uh, not to postpone going in the water. After I saw the line and fishing and nets all over, it's like the rope cutters definitely are required here. So what's the plan? Luckily we have two engines, so we'll leave one off, we'll limp along on one, get to the mooring, so right now the current out here is pretty strong. I don't want to be having to go back and find a poor captain floating somewhere. Yes, we don't want that. Plus I have dinner for three. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> One engine, head sail up, we're doing eight, nine knots. We can be running along on one engine for all day if we had to. And it's great for fuel consumption. We had to put the sail away because he couldn't hold on. It was moving still at eight knots with the engines off. We have an hour to this island where we're gonna drop the hook. That's where we can kind of check out what's going on because the current out here and the way the boat's moving, the wind was pushing us along at eight knots. So 
not too safe to be trying to hold on. So we're coming in the mooring. The white mooring balls are for pleasure craft. The yellow and the red are for larger vessels like we are. So I guess we're going to go find a red one. Look at this rocks. I mean, this is just amazing. <laughs> Nobody but us here, no other boats. So cool. Do you think there are monkeys there on those beaches? I think so. We get Don't go ask feed not. them with your fingers. I'm gonna ask not. No? <laughs> Good. No, I did it so it was over the top. You went underneath. Just like a pro. You need a longer pole for this boat. You put the rope over the railing. You're supposed to go over the railing and use the loop, not underneath. This person never says he made a mistake. Over, under, under, over. You did a mistake. It was not supposed to be over. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's enough to make it uh, stop. <laughs> yeah. This can really <laughs> F up your day. <laughs> At least it was only on one side. If we had one on each side, we would have not had a good day. It doesn't take much. I think that the new rope cutters would have chewed it to pieces. First voyage, first fouled sail drive. Props are clean, engines look great. We got the trash off the bottom. Sorry, sail drive, no more prop. We just left the anchorage from these beautiful twin rock islands and on our way to Lankawi. You know, we gotta come back here. This is so pretty. Woo! This is like from the movie King Kong. Do you think he's there? Did you hear any monkeys today? No, and Captain said that there are no monkeys here. I don't know if that's true. No more rabies shots, my friend. No more rabies shots. 